I just built four versions of the same application all at once, and the AI literally raced to give me the best one. No retries, no prompt tweaking, just four production-ready builds, and I picked the winner. This is race mode, and it's the moment AI developers cross from a simple magic trick, actual competitive engineering. So what's powering this? It's MGX, a multi-agent dev platform. You describe what you want, and instead of just one model guessing, you get a team of AI product developers working in sync. A PM writes the PRD, an architect designs the system, engineers code it, and an analyst verifies logic and structure. It plans, it builds, and it deploys. In race mode, that's where it goes from AI helping to AI building like a full stack team and a hackathon against itself. Multiple strategies, multiple architectures, multiple code paths. The best one wins and you ship it. All right, so let's run it live and see what race mode delivers. All right, let's jump in. We're at mgx.dev, and today we're going to be checking out race mode, which is going to put four different AIs competing against each other to build our app. Before we build it, I'm going to show you a couple other little things that are super interesting. There is Superbase integration, so you can build a full backend to your application with edge functions, API integrations, and whatever else you want to do. You can choose between team mode, where you get a full team working on your product, like Mike as a team leader, Alex as the engineer, Emma is a product manager, David is a data analyst, and Bob is an architect. There are more roles coming soon. You can do an engineer mode only. You can also choose race mode or deep research mode. We're gonna choose race mode today. And because we're choosing race mode, the model is gonna be auto because it's gonna use multiple models to compete against each other. And this is what we're gonna show you and how it all works out. You can also use Iris, which is their deep research mode. You can create slides, blog posts, link hubs. You can also see their showcase if you wanna just sort of be inspired by what other people have created. You can go to the discover tab as well, and it is all here. So, okay, we're gonna check out race mode today, and we're gonna build an app that takes a YouTube video idea. It's gonna generate the title, the description, and the thumbnail text for us. That's it, super simple prompt. You get the idea, you can put any prompt you want in, try race mode, try deep research. Let's go, let's see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit, and what's gonna happen now is our team of AI agents are gonna start building this app. And I love how this looks. So we've got our deep seek chat, we have GTP5, we have Claude Sonnet 4, and we have Quinn 3 Coder Plus. And guess what? They're all gonna be using different systems, different architectures, different prompts, different design philosophies to build our app, and it's gonna race to the finish. And they're gonna talk to each other and compete and come up with the best concept but it doesn't select it for us. We can decide which one we like the best. We can preview each app and then we can choose which one we want to use to further build out our application. And as you can see here, these are all working on building out our app. We can scroll down, we can see all the context, we can follow the screen, we can switch between the editor and the app viewer or the planner or the terminal. We could do all this shit, but we're just gonna let this go. And it's gonna take a couple minutes and when it's all done, we'll come back and we'll choose which one we want to work with. All right, we're back. That took just a couple minutes and check this out. We have our four versions and look at this. MGX actually ranked this one, Claude Sonnet 4, as the best, but we could take a look at all of these here. So we can look at the app viewer, we can look at the planner, the editor, the terminal, um, we can actually test our app right here. We could say like baking bread, for instance, and we can see what the result looks like. We can also see the chat of how Alex, the engineer, went through this entire process, what they built for us. We can open it up in full screen so we can get the full screen preview if we would like. We can look at the other apps, we can scroll through. It's interesting how these different models and different LOMs built this differently. For instance, GPT-5 has all kinds of different inputs like different tones, like educational, sensational, inspi inspirational, authoritative, whereas the other ones are pretty much just a prompt and then you get the result. But from a visual standpoint, I agree. Claude Forsonet did the best job here. So let's just roll with that. But just know you could pick any one of these and then iterate on the application from the starting point here. Okay, so let's click here on Claude for, Claudet for the best. And then all we need to do is click this button down at the bottom. I'm loving this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm just gonna confirm. And now what's gonna happen is gonna bring this application 
fully into my screen here so that I can work and iterate on this application. We'll show you how easy it is to make some changes here once this loads up. Okay, so here it comes. And what's really nice is we had race mode on. We had four agents working against each other. Since we chose this app, we get all the chat history uh, from this app. So we can see that uh, Mike, the team leader, is collaborating with Alex um, and back and forth. And you can see the whole conversation just get some context on how everything was built. So it has some different uh, prompts here as examples. So let's just say cooking meals on a healthy budget. Cooking meals on a healthy budget. Okay. And then we can hit generate content. And this should work. So let's see what happens here. Okay. So we got our our video title, how to cook, how to cooking in 30 days. We can copy that, our video description. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to know about cooking, whether you're a complete beginner or looking to improve your skills. With the timestamps, that's super cool. And we also get the thumbnail text, ultimate cooking guide. So this looks really, really good. So a couple of things that I wanna show you here is we can um, you know, preview our page. We can look at the console and see if there are any console errors throwing. There are not any right now. We can switch to the mobile view of our application. Let's go ahead and hide this console. It looks pretty good on mobile. We might have to clean it up a little, but out of the box, it's looking pretty good. We can go back to PC here. And if we wanna make any sort of change, we can come over here into the left-hand side. We can use our team of engineers, a single engineer, and we can even upload files or folders for reference. We can also now change our model. So Claude's on at 4.5 is probably the best, but if you want a specific model, you can simply change your models here, even though we used race mode to get this kicked off. So let's go ahead and say, make this website dark mode and see what happens. Now, the agent should be able to work on this and make this change very quickly for us. So any sort of iterative changes that we wanna make, like styling, function, logic, our team of project managers, team leaders, and engineers is gonna go through the application and make all of these changes for us. So as you can see live on the screen, this is gonna be much faster because we're not in race mode anymore and we're just using Claude's on at 4.5. It's gonna go ahead and update the CSS, the styling, and everything that it needs to do to make this application in dark mode. And you can add any changes that you want, include, including adding a full backend to this application, it's logic and everything like that with their Superbase integration. What I really like here is up at top, we can actually see which member of our AI team is working on the application. And once it's done, I will show you a couple other things like how you can publish your app, how you can share your app, and a couple other features, but this is working really, really well. I'm super impressed and I love that I was able to choose in race mode from four different possible outcomes for my app. So look at this, uh, just like that, it updated the entire app. It looks really good. It's in dark mode here. We can continue to iterate on this through the chat if we would like. And here we go, version one race mode executed, and we can actually remix from this uh, point in time, or we can continue to go. I wanna show you a couple other things here. If we click the integration button, they do have a super base integration, which we talked about. So if you want a full backend, you wanna you know, have different edge functions, API functions, payments, store your user data, you can easily integrate with Superbase, which is really, really nice. If you want to publish your app, um, we can do so, but once the chat is finished, so it just finished up, so I can go ahead and hit publish now. We can choose some of the settings here uh, in terms of what we want to do with our publishing, like custom domains, um, we can see kinds of billing. And then finally, I just want to show you the share button. So if we click share, we can actually share this um, uh, publicly. Uh, we can edit the app card, we can export it, we can copy the link, we can also share on social. So lots of ways to distribute your app, whether you're working with clients or um, you're publishing this on your own domain. Okay, so let's go down here in the chat and see what's going on. Um, so Mike, who's the team lead, is working with Alex to get this all cleaned up and get the dark mode working. I really love how we have the engineer talking to the project manager, to the team lead, uh, to the analyst, and so much more. This was super, super effective. If we go over here to the left, we can see all of our you know, uh, previous chats. So we can easily switch from project to project. We can go to the app role to see all the other applications that were created, you know, by the community. And MGX is super, super powerful. 
I love race mode. I hope you check it out. You can also check out deep research mode, slide mode, or any other of the features that MGX has. I'm super curious to see what you build. If you like race mode, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other videos like this one.